and in fact, we had the sort of 11th hour thing where Glenn Close, who did the voice for Carla, who was the mother, eight. I had uh, I was sat in, you know, in the studio with her to teach her it, and um, she was much more Broadway than pop, and she couldn't get the rhythm of the thing. And then we, 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 you know, it's, it's all upbeat, and there's no, there's nothing on one. Come stop your crying, it will be. A, just take my. Hand. She couldn't handle it, so uh, I ended up singing it because of that, really. But anyway, I'll try to amble through this. Come stop your crying, it will be all right. Just take my hand, hold it tight. It's lovely, <clears throat> and I even like the pauses. <laughs> Thought they added it's something. There's some I wrote the chords down. I mean, what is the point of writing the chords down if you can't look at them when you need to? But anyway, does the inspiration keep coming? Well, I, I do like when you know these things are presented to me that are a little bit outside the box, you know, or my box anyway. Um, you know, what I mean, Tarzan. We talked about when the film was out. We did talk about taking it on the stage because. They were having great success with Lion King having transferred from the, the, the screen to the stage. And um, unfortunately, at the time, you know, they couldn't, they couldn't work out how to do animals, you know, that wasn't like the Lion King or it wasn't like gorillas with zips up the backs, you know. So um, it, nothing happened to it. But then they suddenly got a great designer and writer and director involved. 
and uh, called me back and said, do you want to do the Broadway musical? And I was like, for me, I grew up, I was the Artful Dodger in Oliver in London, you know, and I, when I was 14, and, and so to actually write a musical, that was like, wow, to do what Lionel Bart did, you know. And I just totally got into it for four years, lived in New York for six months when it started. And um, I just found that it was like a completely different way of writing, and that was just fantastic to sort of be given that opportunity you know, whatever age I was, uh, 51, 52 then. Do you think you'll, you'll always write songs? Um, yes. Yeah, because, you know, it's, it's my hobby as well as my life, as well as my job, you know what I mean? So you still enjoy it? Oh, yeah, yeah. What I, you know, I say the part of it that, and even, you know, I mean, I, I just, going back to the things with the, my young kids, you know, um, they, they're discovering what Dad does, you know, and... Um, the other night they wanted to watch something. They've heard the song, they wanted to watch the video. So I put on something and, and I was watching and you think, oh, you know, if I, could, if I could do that, but still come home every night, I'd do it, you know? But it just drags you away from home and then suddenly, you know, you miss whole periods of, of your kids growing up. And I was, you know, the actual doing it, I, I love performing, but, uh, but I, one thing I will always do is, is write because that's, that's what I, that's what I do now. It's just part of what I, keeps me going. Thank you so much. That was great. I enjoyed it. You're a fantastic thank you. So thank you very much. You're well, well, well done, both of you. All right, Ashley, can we take a picture? Go for it. You're going to take a picture. Just take a picture.